Hello YouTube land, it's Debbie from the Canadian Crotch Order. Today is Friday, January 19th. Uh, it's been a little while since I've been on. I don't have a lot to show you, but I'm going to show you the few little things that I've been working on. Well, that I've finished. I've been working on a lot of things. I've, been, I've had this case of starditis. It's crazy. I would just want to do all the things and then I get one third of the way in and then I was like, oh, I want to do that. And I'm sure you, a lot of you know what I'm talking about. Uh, let's see. We went away with uh, our family for a few days. I think it was like four days with our all of our children and, and grandchildren. And uh, it, we went. It, it was a ski trip. There wasn't a lot of a lot of snow, but they made it work. So it was great. And uh, I was kind of weepy a little bit because it was the first time in a long time since we had all been together. Um, we get together in the summer. But it was the first time in like the holiday season that we've been together so it was great um let's see we i'll put in a picture of of all of us uh there i think there was only one missing uh one of our grandchildren he went down south with his girlfriend so <laughs> you can't blame him um let's see and also i wanted to make it more christmasy because that was our christmas get together I ended up finding on Amazon a little portable Christmas tree and I'll put in a picture here uh, the good thing about this thing I'll leave a link for the Canadian Amazon if you guys are interested but I'm sure you guys can find it I'm not affiliated or anything like that I just found it and it was it flattens down like this into a box and then you just pull it up and it's all got this tinsel and everything and it even comes with a, a, a rope a light and it just we just had it going and it was so much fun and all the other portable Christmas trees that I looked at, you need to bring ornaments and decorate it. This, you just pop it out, done. <laughs> so it was it was great. We had a great time. And the good thing, let me tell you, the good thing about having adult children, I didn't do much cooking. So there was three nights that we had to worry about dinner. The fourth night we went out, um, or the, sorry, the first night we went out, and then the other three nights, my older daughter did one, one uh, dinner, my younger daughter did the other dinner, the third dinner was my responsibility. I didn't feel like cooking, so I ordered in pizza. And then our other children brought other things like desserts and all the breakfast foods and lunch foods. And it was great. That's the great thing about having adult children. You can do that. <laughs> it was great. We had a blast. Anyway, enough about that. Uh, what have I been up to? I Like, like I said, I've been had starditis like crazy. I have so many whips. And then my neighbor just announced or just told us that she's going to be a grandma for the first time. So now I want to do all the baby things. Oh my goodness. Which, by the way, so I've been looking. I haven't started anything yet. I'm going to go to you guys. Uh, give me, Send me or, you know, leave comments of patterns that you think. I'm thinking blankets and like um, baby hats and... Uh, baby cardigans or booties or pants or rompers or anything like that if you got any good because there's so many I'm a little overwhelmed I don't know which one and I don't want to get to the point where it's like it's got to be pretty easy because I don't want to get to the point where it's I you know start get halfway and then I got to stop because it's just too complicated or I've lost interest so if you got any you know tried and true uh, patterns that you like for baby stuff leave a comment or send me an email you know because then I can kind of somehow get some direction on weeding through all of the patterns there are thousands and thousands hundreds of thousands of patterns for and it could be crochet or knit so uh, you know or even sewing I might, I might even try maybe sewing something for a baby I'm, my sewing skills are not the greatest but anyway so if you got any ideas leave them down below I, I feel really overwhelmed but uh, I'm thinking in the next couple of months, because the baby's due in April, it's going to be a lot of baby stuff. Um, anyway, let's see. What have I been up to? The first thing, I think I mentioned to you before, I made a scrappy uh, blanket for my son-in-law, which, by the way, he loved. Um, uh, and then I still had a lot of blanket yarn, which I still have a lot. And my neighbor, the one that's going to be a grandma, was over and she's like, oh, I would love one. So I'm like, yeah, sure. It's just, it's mindless. It's literally, you don't even think about the colors. Anyway, I finished hers. I'll show it to you. Oh, it's pretty decent size. Uh, it's a throw. But it turned out pretty good. And I bordered it in the white. I had a lot of that. 
I still have, I probably have enough blanket yard to make one more throw. Um, so I might make one for my, uh, for my house unless somebody wants it. So anyway, I got that done. Um, and it's all, like I said, scrappy, uh, blanket yarn that I had left over. It's so squishy. Love it. So I did that. Um, oh yeah. So I've been, I've been cleaning out my craft room. It's such a mon <laughs> monumentous <laughs> event. Uh, there's so much to do here. Uh, but anyway, I found some, I have a lot of cotton and my son-in-law, uh, loves dishcloth. So I've just, you know, when I need a break from following a pattern or whatever, I just whip off these. This is knit. And this one is just a cotton. I think it's a love this cotton and a scrubby yarn that I found a random scrubby yarn. Uh, and it's my grandma's favorite uh, dishcloth and it's just knit I held the two together so he can he loves these things so I'm gonna send that to him and then I ran out of the scrubby so I just continued on with the cotton so it's like a twofer <laughs> it's a it's a dishcloth with a scrubby so and this one is crochet and it's just half double crochet so that'll go to him among probably a few more before I send it to him I'll make a few more of the cottons that I've found I got a lot of stuff I keep saying, I got way too much stuff. Stop buying yarn, and what do I do? I went, and I went to Michaels. I haven't bought anything at Michaels in so long. But long story short, I went to visit my father-in-law, and he's got a Michaels literally two minutes away. I went in, and I bought all kinds of baby stuff, so baby colors and yarn. So gotta stop it. But anyway, and then the other thing that I have finished is my temperature blanket. I think I mentioned this before. I was doing a temperature blanket with Dina from Dina's Homespun Fun. Uh, I haven't seen Dina in a while, so I'm not. I hope everything is okay. But I finished mine, and it was just a granny stripe. And I think it's this way. It started. Anyway, I'm gonna try to. Sh it's very long. I'll try to show you all the colors. Yeah. So it's very long, and we did. Uh, for every every row is a week and the Wednesday uh, Of that week and you did one row of high one row of low of that week of that Wednesday and then I did because there's um, Ends at you know, there you know the the ends of the row instead of weaving them all in I did an envelope border and someone a while ago and I cannot remember and I'm so sorry I don't remember who it was suggested because I was complaining that there was two colors that I hadn't used because it didn't get that hot on the Wednesdays it got that hot on the weekends but it didn't get that hot on the Wednesdays so I ended up not using these two colors here uh, it's like a coral dark coral color and a fuchsia and that person suggested just use those colors in your border and I'm like perfect so I use that uh, to border I made an envelope border and this thing is so squishy and so soft and I love it and it's gonna go on the back of my couch uh, as soon as the weather gets a little nicer because these are pretty bright colors right now I have a quilt that I use to <laughs> stay warm it is cold we are going through a cold snap woke up today it's minus 17 at 9 a.m. this morning Minus 17 degrees Celsius. I don't even know what Fahr what that is in Fahrenheit, but anyway, did that. So I love it. I think it turned out great. It's warm, it's um, snuggly, and it's long and big, and it's gonna be great on the couch. So that I have done. I do have a lot of whips. The last thing I wanted to talk about was, I mentioned to you before that, uh, oh, do I have a pair here? So. I like little scissors like we all do for snipping really close and this is what I normally have I have a few of these but the the finger holes are quite little so you can only you know you got you can only do that and I, I mentioned before I have issues with my joints and sometimes my joints are really really fat and swollen and it doesn't even fit so I'm like trying to try to do this so Anyway, I was looking at my husband's stuff and uh, I noticed that he has what they call line, fishing line snips. And that's what these are. 
And these are happen to be Rapala. I just bought them on uh, Amazon. I think I paid twelve dollars or I don't even know something like that. And but look at big fat holes. <laughs> even when my fingers are swollen, my knuckles are swollen. They can I I can fit in there. I don't know why they make these things. Maybe for those really dainty women. I guess I'm not a dainty woman, but these are so much better. And uh, they work perfectly. They got a nice sharp edge, get real close, and yeah, I love it. So if you get a chance, look them up. I'm sure if you have a husband that's, uh, you know, likes to fish, he's probably got one of these. Steal his or <laughs> buy your own. Awesome. I love these things. I've been using them ever since. And I think that's all. So it's it's a really short video. It's about 10 or 11 minutes. That's perfect. Oh, no, wait. I have one more finished item. I'm going to show you something. Not very proud of it. I haven't even woven in the ends, but I did wash it. Let's talk about it. Hold on. All right. The item, it is great in theory, but I ran into some issues. So this is it's what I'm wearing. I'm going to stand up in a second and show you. Okay, let's just stand up. Now, like I said, I did not weave in the ends. So it is this top, okay? And it's kind of cool because it's got that visual, you know, blurring or whatever. Not keen on the sleeves. I started to decrease way too rapidly. So you got this puckering. Um, I don't know, I want to say it's very avant-garde. Anyway. How it started was, I saw this somewhere, Ravelry probably, it's called the Daily Hexicardi, okay? And I saw started making the Cardi, and it's by uh, Sareo Designs. I'll leave the link for it. Anyway, I made the Cardi, and I did not like how it points downwards. It just pointed downwards. I did not lay very flat. Didn't, I gotta know I didn't like it so I thought what about if I seam it and then have like two points one kind of at the back and one kind of here now being bit bigger chested it's probably not a good idea to have all this going on here but anyway and then I made the sleeves and at this point I had and hers are quite the same if you take a look very quick decrease which I did not I did it, but I did not like the outcome. Sorry, no end is woven in. Did not like the outcome. I think I need to also the sleeves when I when I did them, they were longer, but I washed it and it all shrunk up. Anyway, uh, the yarn that I used was what did I use? Uh, I had lots of this tensile worsted and navy and a peachy color. It's just acrylic. It softened up when I first made it it was so stiff I was like Ugh. but it softened up really nice so I like the concept because this is a hexi so you make the hexi so this is the hexi now you can to get rid of this you would I guess add to it just in the round which I was not liking so I stopped Um. anyway I like the idea I just don't like the execute and then what I did was because it's I seamed it here I poured a little bit of a turtleneck just a small one and again I like the idea I just don't like the way it executed so yeah didn't take very long to make so I'm glad I didn't put like you know dozens and dozens of hours into it but um, maybe it's a redo or maybe I should just stay away from all this business around here <laughs> I don't think I need to draw more attention to this area. So anyway, but I like the idea. See, it's pretty cool. I like it. But the execution, maybe I did something wrong. Maybe, I don't know. But anyway, um, that's another finished object. I did spend time on it. Um, so if you like it, I'll leave a link. You know, maybe it'll look better on somebody who's not as chesty as I am. Now that is all I have done. Um, I have a mill, like I said many times, I have a million whips, knitting, crocheting, I'm making blankets, I'm making ah, so much. 
So I don't know when I'll be back because I'm not making very many little things besides the dishcloths. Um, unless I get started on the baby stuff. Again, if you got a good pattern, leave it down below. I'm interested. I'll look it over and if I can do it, I will. Anyway, I hope everyone is having a wonderful January and we will talk soon.